Hello everybody, before I get underway with tonight's pricing game recap, just a couple of announcements I need to make. Number one, I forgot to mention the model who modeled the prize package in Pushover from yesterday, and that was Ravishing Rachel. And just to clarify that the Chevrolet Colorado work truck was a brand new 2012 model. Thank you very much. And now it's time for the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for Thursday, October 27th, 2011. Today's pricing games played were the following. Flip Flop, Lucky 7, It's in the Bag, One Wrong Price, Pathfinder, and Pick a Number. The first contestant was Rosa. She played Flip Flop for a GL4 Spa from Great Lakes Spas with Spas Around, modeled by Gorgeous Gwendolyn. In that bikini, Gorgeous was an understatement. Wrong price was 5762 Rosa decided to flip, making the price 7562 Felt really good on this. And when Drew revealed the actual retail price, it turned out to be... 7,562! She was right to flip, Rosa, and she became the first winner of the day. Willie played Lucky 7 for a 2012 Chevrolet Cruze that was ridden by Awesome Amber in the driver's seat. First number in the car was 1. For the second number, Willie said it was 7. It was 9, cost him $2. I thought it was 7 myself. For the third number, he chose 6. It was a three, cost him three dollars. Mm. For the fourth number, he went with seven again. It was an eight, cost him one dollar. So now, he had to get the last number exactly right. He went with nine. For some odd reason, I felt pretty good on that. I was thinking four, though, as the last number. Well, that fifth and final number turned out to be... He got the car! And Amber gave him his license plate for the win, telling him, I won this car on the Price is Right, and he went right in and <laughs> looked pretty, pretty good in that car. I'm sure his friends would agree on that. Melissa played it in the bag for a chance to win up to $16,000, and here were the grocery items that she chose to be placed in the respectable bag. The Libby's Crispy Sauerkraut, placed by Amber in the $1.29 bag. The Gillette Venus Divine Razor, placed by Ravishing Rachel, in the $9.49 bag. The Cool Whip, placed by Rachel again in the $2.29 bag. The Vanity Fair Insul Air Insulated Cups, placed by Rachel again in the $3.49 bag. And finally, the Next Tea Ice Tea Mix, placed by Amber in the 469 bag. For $1,000, was the Libby's Crispy Sauerkraut $1.29? Yes, it was. Melissa decided to go on for $2,000, believing that Venus Razor was $9.49, and when we found out what was in that $2,000 bag, it was the Gillette Razor! Melissa decided to go on for $4,000, believing that Cool Whip was $2.29. Drew revealed that the $4,000 bag had the Cool Whip for $2.29. Melissa decided to take the money from there. I actually don't blame her because I thought she was wrong on the $8,000 bag. Let's see if she was. Were those Vanity Fair Insular Insulated Cups $3.49 for $8,000? Yeah, they were. I actually thought she was wrong. I thought it was that Nest Tea. And uh, was the next tea in the $16,000 bag for four sixty nine? No, it was the Bubbly Original Pizza Crust. So, 
She took the four grand, and that's a nice consolation win. Michelle played one wrong price for a classic sleigh bed from Wesley Allen that included a Pizza Peely Supreme eco-friendly queen mattress modeled by Rachel, a Dell computer modeled by Gwendolyn, and a Honda Metropolitan scooter modeled by Amber. Michelle believed the one wrong price went to the Metropolitan scooter from Honda at 2149 and not the sleigh bed at 3620 or the Dell computer at 2170 Amber had a worried look on her face, and you know what? That told Michelle something. That scooter was 2149 Should have chose the computer. That was not 2170 It was 1288 A pretty hot Emily played Pathfinder for a Dodge Nitro 4x2 Heat, modeled by Rachel. First number was 2. For the second number, Emily stepped on the 6 first, and not the 4, the 8, or the 5. It was not the 6. She had to go back to the 2. She chose the pie maker for her first help. That, a coffee maker, and a portable grill were all modeled by Gwendolyn. All right, for the pie maker, she believed it was $63 and not $100. Gwendolyn revealed the price to be one hundred dollars. Hmm. Wish she had chosen that price. So now she went to the coffee maker. She believed it was twenty dollars and not forty-five dollars. Gwendolyn revealed it to be twenty dollars. So now Emily went to the eight. Mm -mm -mm. Was not eight for the second number. So now she had to get the portable grill correct to keep on playing. She said it was $50 and not $79. Gwendolyn revealed it to be $50. She kept on playing. She then stepped on the four, and that was the second number. Now for the third number. She stepped on the seven instead of the three or the nine. No, it was not seven, and that was the game. The actual retail price, $24,391. I was disappointed in that playing as well as her not getting the wheel all the way around in the second showcase showdown. I'm sorry to say, ask this, but what was she trying to pull? Finally, Pamela played Pick a Number for a Cruise to New England modeled by Gwendolyn. Out of the four numbers in the price, the first number was missing. Pamela chose the six instead of the four, the eight, to make the price $6,960. Rachel placed the six in the first spot. And I felt that Pamela actually had this. When Drew revealed what the missing number was, it turned out to be... Hmm. Would you believe it? Eight. $8,960 for a cruise to New England. Wow. Alright, we had two big wins today. They were flip-flop and lucky seven, plus we gave away $4,500. $4,000 $4, in It's in the Bag by Melissa, and $500 won by Pamela for a perfect bid. The MVPs are Rosa and Willie. Contestant recognition goes out to Melissa for her $4,000 win, and to Pamela for her $500 perfect bid. And I have to say that I was very disappointed that Melissa and Pamela were part of the second double overbid of the 40th season. Two overbids, two double overbids in a row this week. Not good. All right, this week the Price is Right Price Game Recap is sponsored by Lucky Super Soft Instant Hand Sanitizer. Kills germs and odors without water. Now i got a couple of announcements. First off, I've had a busy work week, so I've had to watch Prices Right all this week on CBS.com. And tomorrow I actually won't be around to do the Price Me Recap, because Saturday at my college I'm taking a Statistics 1 course, so I won't really have time to do a Price Me Recap. I have to get up really early. So now I'm going to give you the sponsor spoiler. 
Next week's sponsor for the Price is Right Price Game Recap will be from Emerald Old Fashioned Honey Roasted Peanuts. So if Neil Rock 87 is watching, I would really appreciate if you fill in for me tomorrow. And I got another announcement to make. This upcoming Monday is Halloween, and the Price is Right is going to be having a 70s dance party as the theme this year. I can't wait for that. But, I'm going to surprise you of who my special guest for Halloween will be this year. Now, I'm going to give you a, a hint. The character I'm going to be is celebrating two anniversaries. You'll find out who that is when I return on Monday. So, see you next time, everybody.